What's up everyone? Welcome back to Moy's Woodshop. Well stick around and I'll show you how I turn this piece of Osage Orange into a pepper mill. I grabbed a chunk of this Osage Orange. This piece actually came from my buddy Ted Alexander's house in Skyatook, Oklahoma. I brought some pieces with me and uh, this is just going to be a great piece of wood to turn into a pepper mill. After marking the center, I started by drilling a hole and then tapping the spur drive with the mallet. Now I could chuck it up on the lathe, tighten everything down, and let the shavings fly. I started with a 3 8 bowl gouge and I'm just rounding the piece here, taking it slow. This is pretty dense wood, uh, but it does turn very well. After turning the piece round, I grabbed some calipers and determined the uh, final size that it was going to be. Now that I have the final diameter set with the calipers, I can just take material away and then come back and recheck it. Once I have the final dimension on the ends, I could come back and shape it however I want. And you can see my lathe is underpowered. Or maybe it's user error, but I'm getting a couple of uh, stalls there. And this is probably where I should have stopped and sharpened my bowl gouge. You can see I'm getting a couple of stalls on the lathe. And that's probably because it was a dull tool at the, at the moment. And it's also because the, the wood is so dense. And an underpowered lathe. I'm coming back and just squaring up the ends. And then I'll give everything a good sandy. I'll start with 220 and I'll sand all the way up to 600 grit. I'm using OB Shine Juice as a finish, and it is a friction finish. It's one third denatured alcohol, one third shellac, and one third boiled linseed oil. After cleaning up the ends, I'm going to be using a 1 inch spade bit and use the drill press, drill about half ways through and then flip it over and drill the other way. Now there's plenty of other ways to do this, but this is the option that I felt comfortable with. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, don't do it. And just hope and pray that both, both holes line up. In my case they were a little bit off. I grabbed a piece of aluminum rod that I had laying around and some adhesive back sandpaper. Checked it up on the drill and then I made myself a, an extra large oscillating spindle sander <laughs> of sorts. Uh, this was able to get, I was able to get, clean the inside up and uh, you couldn't even tell that the holes didn't match up after that. 
I opted to use a salad bowl finish by General Finishes. Um, I know it's food safe as far as uh, once it's cured. You could leave yours unfinished in the inside. It's not going to hurt any. And um, this is just something I chose to go with. I just centered the pepper mill, marked where the screws were going to go. And then just pre-drilled. The whole process went pretty smooth. This is actually the first pepper mill I've ever uh, turned. And uh, this particular kit, it is from PSI. And it was fairly easy to do. You could shape it the way you want and um, you come up with some pretty interesting shapes. And it's a pretty cool item. Uh, this particular one was a gift. The recipient loves it, however they probably don't ever use it. Something about it's too nice to use. I hope you like this video. I just want to thank everybody for watching. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, so you'll be notified when I upload another video. Um, I know I've been absent for a while, but I plan to make a comeback. Uh, I've got a lot of cool videos uh, coming up, so stick around. In the meantime, go ahead and hit up my social medias. Uh, I'm most active on in Instagram. I'll put the links down below. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.